check during such a big week? Uh, it's, I mean, it's a big week, um, but uh, we've had 12 weeks like this before. Um, it comes out of the process, preparing, um, just like we have every other, every other game. You know, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, we have the process, we have it down. Uh, let's continue to do that and uh, let's see if it works out. How much more comfortable are you in this situation than you were a year ago as a freshman? Yeah, I mean, I know what's going on. I know the, the trip to Atlanta. I know what the environment's going to be like. Um, you know, um, you know, playing big games, it's, it's fun. You know, it's what you what you dream of, and um, let's go out, let's go get it. Do you have any kind of relationship with Tua? Yeah, um, you know, me and Tua are really good friends. Uh, he's an awesome competitor, a uh, really good football player, and a great follower of Jesus. Did y'all meet in camps, or how did y'all get that? Yeah, um, we met during the Elite 11 process when we were uh, seniors in high school. And uh, just kind of took off the Are you surprised that, I mean, I think y'all are both in the top three nationally in efficiency. So I know, I know you each have your own little mm -hmm. offense to run, but there's obviously the special aspect of that in this game, too, with just how efficient y'all have been. Yeah, um, uh, I mean, I think it comes down to uh, the kind of offense we run. Um, you know, again, it's a to great playmakers, and um, and obviously, you know, coaches put us in a good situation. Is there any conversations between you guys since last year in the, t the title game? Um, yeah, a, a little bit, you know, off and on. Um, uh, I saw him this past May um, at a quarterback camp, um, but uh, none this week, none recently. Um, you know, just wishing him the best. Jake, how important has it been that you guys get the run game that you have gotten out of this season and Elijah and DeAndre in particular? Yeah, I mean, that's big. It's huge. Uh, you know, a big physical run game, it not only helps you know, open up the pass game, it helps late in the, late in the game, helps control the, the clock, helps the defense. Um, you know, a, a good running game uh, just helps, you know, play football. So that's what, you know, we want to come out and do and, um, and kind of control the momentum of the game. What do, you, what do you see from Elijah in the goal line? It seems like he has a particularly strong relationship with pylons. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he, he loves getting to the corner of the pylon. And uh, extended out. Um, he said, uh, Coach McGee and uh, Coach Mar aren't too happy about him extending the ball. Um, but uh, you know, he'll, that's something he'll get better at. And um, I mean, he does a great job of it. So. I think some people look at it as big bag Alabama, but the fact that you guys went toe to toe with them last year, does that help going into this? There's no kind of mystique about it. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're another football team. Um, I, I feel like we have a, a great group of guys in our locker room. So uh, we're going to come out, come out swinging, and um, you know, play football. Jake, is the time in the pocket that you have is it a little bit shorter clock with Quinn and Williams 92 there kind of pushing through or trying to get through the middle? What, what's your impressions around? Yeah, I mean, they do a great job of rushing uh, the front of the pocket. And, um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. You know, you come out and, uh, you know, my feet have to be quicker. Uh, of course, it has to be quicker. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's one thing I remember uh, from last year. Uh, the depth of the front of the pocket's getting there a little bit faster. And uh, they do a, a great job of it. The, I like your, the offense improvement since the LSU game. What have been some of the reasons for the steady improvement from game to game? Yeah, uh, I think we're executing as an offense better. We're playing cleaner uh, together. Uh, we're doing a lot better on third down. So anytime you know you convert on third down, you're staying on the field, and uh, that just ultimately you know leads to, to score more points. So uh, we're excited about where we're going. Hopefully, we can keep it up and um, continue to get better. Can you go to last year's game to to help you for this game, or is it? Is there are they totally a different team or how did? Yeah, um, very similar. Um, you know, their their scheme on defense is very similar to, to what we do on defense, and uh, you know they have some some returning players on defense, and um, you know, but obviously they don't have the same defensive coordinator. Um, so you you watch a little bit of it, see what you can get from it, and um, and, and just do the best you can with it. Jake, I know there's plenty of motivation with the title at stake, but you guys are like two touchdown underdogs, and that's the first time since you've been here that it's been like that. Can y'all use that as motivation that a lot of people nationally aren't giving y'all? I mean, we don't. We don't need to, to be an underdog to be you know, to be motivated. That's not you know what's going to motivate us. Um, you know, we're, we're playing for the guys in the locker room, playing for the coaches, playing for this university. So um, you know, we're going to go out and play a great football game. Uh, can't wait. It's going to be a fun. One. Do you look back at all the last year? I mean, other than obviously looking at film and stuff that can help you mm -hmm. this week, but just kind of the better way that ended. Do you still think much about that, or does that now with this week playing them again? I mean, I guess if you've been looking forward to having a shot at them ever yeah. since um, last year. I mean, anytime you're playing at this stage, it uh, doesn't really matter who you're playing. Uh, you ultimately want to win and uh, be successful. Um, as far as last year, you know, playing them, um, you know, really kind of flushed it out of my mind. Um, you know, the game happened. It is what it is. Um, but, you know, just ready for a new opportunity uh, to come out and play. Uh, play my best, play our best, and let's go out and win it.
Uh, Jake, there's been a lot of talk this season about the Alabama wide receivers. How do you think the guys you use the ball to compare to them? Uh, I mean, our guys are, are great. I mean, we have a great group of guys um, in, in that receiver room who make some great plays. Uh, you know, they've done it all year. So um, I take my guys um, in a street fight any day. So um, let's go out and let's go uh, prepare for battle. What are some unique things, if any, about playing in Mercedes-Benz Stadium? Do you remember that that you can take away? Yeah, um, man, the Benz is awesome. Uh, great. Sorry. Uh, just a great uh, atmosphere, and uh, it, it really is cool. Uh, um, just kind of have the big screen up there, uh, the turf, playing Atlanta. feels like it's in your backyard. Uh, so definitely we kind of feel like we have a home field advantage with that, and uh, and it's, it's fun. The locker rooms are great. You know, it's a, just a great atmosphere. Is there anything distracting or different about it? You know, it's the lighting, the, the environment, there's noise. I mean, what, I mean, the noise, yes, the noise. Um, one thing um, that I kind of remember from last year is that, you know, there's there's like people sitting right behind uh, the benches, you know, right there, you know, in the, in the nice seats, which is which is crazy. You know, like, like you feel like they can hear, you know, what you're saying, um, which, uh, I mean, that's just, just part of the, uh, the stadium. But um, that's just one thing I remember from last year. Is it kind of funny that for you it came down between Georgia and Alabama and it keeps being Alabama in these big games? Yeah, um, you know, they're, they, they are who they are. Um, you know, they're a great football program and um, they, they've done a great job. So um, we're, we're trying to uh, just win as many games as we can and, um, and hopefully win this next one. I think, I think I saw you, you went out yesterday. Uh, yeah, what had you do? And is that just kind of a way for you to get away from the craziness? Yeah, the um, so I, actually I did it last year. I uh, went back home. I went back home, you know, yesterday, uh, Saturday after the game. And uh, went home, shot some ducks with the family, you know, came back. And, and uh, just kind of a way to kind of get your mind off it, you know, real quick. And, hey, you know, let's get back to work for all we can for the week. So uh, we did a pretty good job. Shot a bunch of ducks, had a good time with the family, uh, which is always fun. Uh, anytime, you know, you're in the swamp, you know, with your brothers, your dad, your, your family, your close friends, it's, it's, it's awesome. Last year, for which game? Uh, the uh, Tech game last year. Okay. Yeah, so same same time. Sunday, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it worked last year. Hope it worked this year. Is it a secret blind? Where, where, where do you go? Uh, I, I can't, can't really tell you. <laughs> do, you eat, do you like duck? Or you, yeah, uh, you I like duck. Yep. For you, I know y'all have been focusing on y'all's opponents week to week, but how much have you watched and seen of Alabama throughout the season? <clears throat> uh, throughout the year, um, you know, anytime you click on the ESPN, um, you know, they're going to be on there, their highlights. Um, so definitely kind of, you know, watch a little bit of them. Um, watched a bunch, you know, last night. So definitely got a good feel for them. And, um, you know, it's kind of honestly like playing our defense a little bit um, in a little sense. So, you know, definitely still a lot of them. And um, a good feel. I think you feel something, I mean, what you're trying to build here. Obviously, Kirby worked with Nick for a long time. So Alabama has, Georgia has a great history too. But, I mean, Alabama has this sort of, with all the national titles and obviously what they've done in the last decade or so. Are they sort of the template that everybody is sort of gunning for in college football? I mean, I think everybody um, in this business is, is striving for greatness. And I think they're just a great example of uh, a team who does a, a great job at you know, not only winning football games, winning championships. And um, I think, you know, anybody, you ask any coach, you know, they want to win as many games as they can, win as many championships as they can. Um, so they're just a really good example, and I think everybody's kind of striving for that. I know you probably talked about this before, but what was the, what was the next reaction when you said, I want to back off a little bit, take a look around. Just told him maybe you're wrong. Can you remember what he said? Yeah, um, a very long conversation. Um, How long? He's been doing the talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, it was it, it was pretty long. I mean, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Um, but um, it, it was a tough one. Um, it was something, um, it was probably one of the hardest things I had to do there at the time, you know, however old I was. Um, uh, but it was tough, you know, and, um, you know, tell him that I was going to come here. Uh, you know, I'm sure he probably didn't like that very much. Um, but, uh, you know, this is just a, a me decision, a family decision, and, um, you know, something that's worked out for me so far. How, how intimidating was that as a young kid, though, to have to tell Nick Saban uh, yeah. that? Uh, it, it definitely was. It definitely was tough. Um, but, um, you know, it is what it is. You know, you gotta, sometimes you got to do some hard things in life. And, um, you know, I'm here now. Let's go. How do you think, how, how do you think that changed history? I mean, <laughs> two is there now. You're here now. Uh, I mean, I have no idea. Um, it, you know, I guess the only thing I say kind of it is what it is. You know, we're both here now, um, playing this game. Um, you know, so you know, let's go. How much is Justin?